is up guys Nicole here back at it again for another video today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the brand new 2022 speed champions Lotus Avaya this is set number 76907 it features 247 pieces and a whole lot of stickers because that's what we get with speed champions I'm not hating on it but that's just how we roll stickers that's what we signed up for with stickers this set retails for $19.99 which is a whole lot cheaper than the $2 million price point for the actual car itself. Now when Lego put the Avaya on the list of 2022 speed champions, I was a little confused. I wasn't mad about it, but I was a little confused because this is a brand new car and it's not something that I would have expected them to make into a speed champion at least right away. So in order to understand why it's so bonkers that they did that, you have to understand the, a little bit of the history of the car itself. And now there isn't much history because it is a brand new car, but I'm going to geek out for a couple minutes. So if you're not interested and you just wanna see the car itself, then you can fast forward. I won't get mad. I won't even know about it. But if you're here to stay, hi, hello, welcome, let's nerd out. So this car is Russell Carr's design child. He took over the design department over at Lotus in 2014. And some would say this is kind of like what he had been building up to for all those years. This is the first hype car of its kind. The car is interesting in the fact that it took design elements from F1 mainly the carbon fiber body because not only is it very sturdy safe hard whatever you want to call it that's what she said but it is also very light and you want light in order to achieve speed that's the name of the game now as if you're not already impressed which i don't know if you are this car is 2000 horsepower that is 500 horsepower per wheel that is double of the bugatti veyron which at its time no one thought that could be exceeded it is a very very fast car and it bolsters zero to 60 in under three seconds, which if you read any press releases from Lotus, Lotus says that three seconds is being a bit generous. So it's even faster than that. It is entirely electric. And originally they had been working with Williams to develop a battery pack for this car. But unfortunately, 2020 was a really difficult year for Williams. If you watch Drive to Survive, you know what I mean. That company had been having problems for many years, but particularly in 2020, they sold their company to an American investment group, which did an entire overhaul on pretty much every aspect of the company. And maybe that affected this car. I don't know, but it's me back at it again. So I realized that right here, as I was editing, I forgot to put in the part where Lotus fired Williams, which, which will make this whole thing make sense. I wasn't just going on a rant about Williams for 20 minutes, you know what I mean? Okay, anyways, back to the story. The Lotus Avaya did not come without drama, that's for sure. So let's take a look at the car itself. Let's turn over here. This is where I build and do my, my stuff. So you know how I roll? I first take a look at the box art, pretty standard. We have the Lotus logo up here, the Speed Champions logo, Lego, all the information over here. And then in the back, we have a picture of the actual car and then rendered versions of the build. Again, very cool box. I mean, not looking at anything crazy here, but in any case, this is a pretty standard Speed Champion box. So, you know, we don't need that. So taking a look at the build as a whole, I was pleasantly surprised and very entertained building this. Um, they used so many techniques and pieces that I did not expect to see when I opened up those bags. And the build itself was fairly complicated in a sense where it uses techniques that I hadn't seen before, but pretty straightforward for speed champions as well. Starting at the front, we have five stickered elements as well as two printed headlight pieces. The headlight pieces have so much detail in them, mainly because these are laser headlights as well as a fan underneath to keep them cool. And those are printed precisely as it is on the real car itself. Up here we have a Lotus icon and fun fact, this logo on the actual car is set into the carbon fiber, which is very, very cool and something that I've never seen before on any other carbon 
car. Down here you can see all the negative space for airflow as well as the angled radiators. Now taking a look on the side here you can see there are no rear view or side view mirrors and it's because on the actual car those elements are replaced with by cameras so the camera would actually come out of here and come out of here and that's how you would see what's going on around you. Very very cool keeps the car aerodynamic. You can see here there are four magnesium wheels with the brand new wheel elements introduced on the 2022 Speed Champions. Here would be the dihedral doors, but you know, they can't make that happen on a model this small. So we can just lift this out to get in and out. Moving along to the back, which I actually think is one of the cooler parts of this car. If I put it at this exact angle, I think it will show it a little bit better. This car has an active rear wing and DRS, and you can see that the wing and the flaps would lift here. The tail lights are possibly one of the coolest elements on the actual car and Lego did such a fantastic job showing it here. So the tail lights here are actually hollows in here. There's just indents in there and it's because again, that's for airflow to come through from here. And instead of putting the brake lights over there because you don't need to, they actually put the headlights around that hole. I guess that's what you would call it, the hole there. And the rumor was the taillights are designed to look like the afterburners of a fighter jet, which seems to be the theme of this entire car is that this is very aerodynamic and modeled after an aircraft for sure. Down here you can see the stickered element for the fog lights. This is very similar to the F1's rain light. Now I think the best way to show this would be from the side. So back here you have where the battery pack would be and this is a really cool printed tile up here. You can see the Lotus right there. And when you lift this you would see where the battery pack would go and I believe this blue piece here I know it's intentional and I think that's for the damper but I'm not entirely sure I think that's what that is for but in, in any case this is where the battery pack would go now looking inside the car if I just lift this off and again this is a printed piece very cool you can see the minifig you get. Now, I don't typically buy the Speed Champions for the minifigs, but this is a very cool one. He comes with hair, but again, I always lose the hair, so, you know, there's that. And the face seems to be very smug. He's a smug guy because he can afford, or he can afford, or he is paid to drive in this $2 million car, so I would be pretty smug too. In the actual Lotus car, they kept the interior very simplistic. Everything that you need is down here, as well as the dashboard up here. It is what it is. I think that they did a fantastic job with the interior for this model, and you can see there's definitely space for two minifigs in here as it is coupe style. Now, I was a very, very big fan of this build. I'm not terribly excited for this green color. I think the minifig in that color is cool, but the car itself, this looks a little bit like an anaconda. I don't know, I'm just getting anaconda vibes from it, and I don't know, snakes and I, I don't really like snakes, but um, I would have liked to see this in a different color, but I understand with with Lego and bricks and whatever, it's very limited as to the color choices you can have. I almost forgot on the rear here, they have, they used a skateboard or a snowboard, snowboard skateboard combo for the wing. I know that they used to do that on the older cars. It was just a lot of fun to see it on this car. Overall, I would definitely recommend this build. I, I thought that it was a lot of fun and for the price point, you're, you were getting something really sleek and really cool. I think the designers over at LEGO did a fantastic job just making this come together. I know that this was not an easy thing to design or build. Anyways guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about this build if you did it or if you're planning to pick this up. I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.